Yo, YouTube, what's good, man? I'm chilling in the whip right now. It's blacked out, man. I was gonna move, but I'm just chilling, man. You know, I figured I could just talk and, you know, kind of just upload a video. It's been a little while. It's been like two weeks since I uploaded a video. I've just been trying to... I've been trying to just figure out what I'm doing right now, you know? Like, not really figure it out. Like, I know what I'm doing, but... um. With this channel, you know, often sometimes I reflect on starting a new channel because, you know, I have a lot of music. So sometimes I consider starting a new channel with music. Oh, there's a car coming up. Uh, sometimes I, uh, you know, reflect on starting a brand new channel with music. But you know what? Like, when I go back and revisit this channel, I do see that I do accumulate some sort of views on this channel. So that's why I do try to stay consistent with this channel. And like I said, like, this channel was like a rebirth or a rebrand for me. So, like, this is where the challenges of YouTube come in with being consistent and not giving up, you know? So it's like, you know... We got to just stay consistent, right, with, with certain things. So I know, you know, when it comes to uh, anything, you know, consistency is key. Content is king. Um, but I just been working a lot. But I, so, you know, like coming, you know, finishing up last year, man, like many some of many of y'all will know and you'll be able to go back into my old videos and see like I went on a nine month monk mode SR street. So like. That really had me on my grind. I really was just focused on, excuse me, self-improving. And the self-improvement never stops. And, like, you know, just to, you know, kind of keep y'all updated. Like, you know, I told you I ended up attracting a mate, like, literally nine months in on my streak. I wanted to hit a year, but I ended up breaking, like, I ended up breaking a couple... You know, I, I don't want to say, I don't want to make it sound like I relapsed, but, like, I broke my streak. So, like, I had went the whole year to, like, I went cold turkey with smoking weed. I don't smoke weed anymore, but I'm not going to lie. Like, I have been indulging in the in edibles here and there. Like, when when it, when I'm able to relax and have my leisure, because I do like the, the effects that the CBD and stuff do. But, you know, I figured that when I went out to Cali in November and I shared a clip of, of me being in Cali, just, you know, some views. When I went out to Cali in November for vacation, I did indulge, you know, like, and the vibe was great. I had a great time. Uh, I went with my my older sister. I had a great time because, you know, many, um, I've shared it in my past videos. I used to live in Cali. So, like, it was good to just touch down on my old roots and, um, and, and go have fun and just, like, you know, go cruise through Cali, beautiful California, and just see the sights. And um, I did have a little herb. I did have a little flower that I smoked. But um, for the most part, the edibles was like my new wave. Like my the edibles from the uh, dispensary was my new wave. And now, you know, it's so crazy how accepted marijuana and weed is now. Or obviously, it's the same thing. But it's, it's so crazy how, you know, it's unbelievable. Like, there's a dispensary, like half an hour near me now like half an hour hour to an hour near me uh which is crazy because you know i went through the years of when i was heavy smoking every single day um you know i was going through it with with the black market but now like you know i have self-control like you know a lot of self-control i have now like i don't even waste um you know like it's just not a habit or an addiction like it was before you know, like every now and then I will go treat myself uh, to some edibles and uh, literally just, you know, take one and relax for the night and wind down in, in, in the comfort of my home. But that's it. Like, you know, I'm not, you know, heavy buying a buying an 80 every, you know, I was spending five grand a year on, on herb, you know, like. So it's like I had to cut that. I had to stop because I was addicted to smoking and, and the smoke wasn't good for my voice either being a singer and an artist. But, you know, like that's a whole other thing. But I wanted to get that off my chest and express that to y'all. But, you know, my mindset, my motivation, my dreams, my aspirations never changed. You know, uh, my intelligence was never uh, altered or whatever. But, you know, there were certain habits and addictions that I needed to cut and self-improve last year 
basically from, you know, and uh, like I said, I was coming out of a traumatic relationship experience, you know, basically I was just in the wrong relationship for myself, you know, I wasn't in the right relationship for myself at all, so, um, you know, the most high pulled me out of that and had me be on my self-improvement for the year, and I expected to go a while before attracting a mate, but the most high had different plans for me, and, you know, I, I, I attracted a, another high vibrational mate that puts God first as well now. You know, we're not perfect. Um, you know, we do have our ups and downs, but uh, the main thing is, is putting God first, you know, and that's a beautiful thing to have with this person. Um, and, you know, we built a, a good foundation with God and a good, you know, friendship. I'm going to be honest. I know that sounds corny, but, you know, we have a, a, a very good, close relationship, you know, aside. I know my past situations, it was all physical. It was all sex. That's the only thing that was in my mindset and in my mind, body and soul. But I'm in a very happy place, you guys. I'm, I'm happy about where I'm at. And actually, this relationship has helped me build and grow to be even more. But I am a changed man coming out of my last situation. Like now, I'm, you know, I know I'll never stop working out. I know that like you want we want to talk about, like you know, the the real red pill is, 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 you know, being a man of God for real. But like, you know, me being a man of God, like now, I like, it's the same kind of situation where it's like, look, you're not going to take nothing. You're not going to be taken advantage of. You're going to have self-respect for yourself. You're going to have self-love for yourself and you're not going to let anything affect you. Um, or, and if you, if you feel something in your intuition, if something seems out of line, you're going to call it as it is right then and there. Because now you know to just trust God once you come out of those toxic situations. You know that you just need to trust God because those situations were meant to make you get closer to God. Because you were, whenever you're in a traumatic situation, you get pulled out of a bad situation. That's supposed to help you get closer to God, you know. And then once you start to build that relationship with God again, then then you can, uh, you know what can lead you. You know, you, you end up finding your purpose. So I know what my purpose is now. And I continue to lead in this relationship now. But I know I'm not the same person. I know that I am, you know, the masculine man that I need to be now. You know, like, I feel like me smoking a lot of weed. I'm not going to lie. I feel like smoking smoking mad weed before, too, had, had, had me less masculine, for real. That's just me keeping it a buck. And there's studies of that, that, you know, weed makes men more more feminine and it makes women more masculine that's a proven you know those are proven uh studies but um man this video is about to be a banger man of course because i knew i had to get it off my chest but yeah the whole main reason why i was uh just starting to make a video was because it was like yo i don't know what i want to do with this channel man but i had to look at my last upload i was like yo you know what this channel's not worth abandoning uh before it was dead and inactive and i had to get back on it and uh and revive this dead channel. And, um, you know, like I said, I already had this amount of subscribers on there. So, uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to get, get something up, you know, hopefully I, I always say, hopefully I can be more consistent, but I do have a very busy schedule, but I need to push myself. There's no excuse, you know, and I'm going to keep saying that as a note to myself, but I just wanted to make a quick video y'all. Um, you know, I'm going to be off this week, but yet yeah, I'm not off, but I'm going to be working and trying to get content up, expect a lot more music, hopefully a lot more videos, a lot more positive uh, motivation, self-improvement videos for me, guys. Uh, we still have the whole year ahead of us. All right. So I hope everybody's been uh, enjoying the beginning of the year, getting focused, getting ready to have more of a successful year. I know we're a few weeks in now, but um, let's just stay focused and positive. All right. If you haven't, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to be on this later. All right. Peace. Love y'all.